Oh, bless the name of the Lord this morning. This is the day that the Lord had made. And truly we rejoice and will be glad in it. We are in the house of the Lord as we come here to worship his holy name. Let us all stand in the house of the Lord as we magnify the name of the Lord. If you're excited that the Lord has pleasure, the pleasure of giving you one more day in the land of the living. Oh, come on. I need everybody in the sanctuary. If you're watching online, whatever means you're watching us this morning, I don't need you to just watch. I need you to participate in this hour of service. Oh, come on. Let's magnify the name of the Lord. Oh, lift up his holy name. Let Zion worship his name. Oh, come on. Let's worship in this atmosphere. Let's shift this atmosphere. Let's worship his holy name. Somebody give thanks that he brought you through. Somebody says, Lord, I thank you for your amazing grace. How sweet the sound. But you would favor somebody like me. Lord, we thank you for bringing us from Sunday to Sunday. God, you're merciful. How wonderful that you are in this day. Oh, come on. If you're online, I need you to go into the comment section right now and say hashtag it's time to worship i'm the reverend dr david allen and we welcome you to bethel tabernacle as we give god praise and thanks as we go into a call to worship and prayer i was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the lord our feet shall stand within your gates O jerusalem for a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than a door in the tents of wickedness. Because of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek your good. Those that be planted in the house of the, of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Blessed are they that dwell in your house. Lord, I have loved the habitations of your house and the place where your glory dwells. For the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O, o sing unto the, the Lord a new song, song for he has done marvelous things. things. Make a joyful noise unto, unto the Lord. All, all the earth, earth sing his praises. praises. All the earth sing his praises. Oh, Lord, my God, your name is so excellent, my God. Your name, my God, is so wonderful, my God. Your name, my God, is so marvelous, my God. My, my God, my, your name is the mighty God. And Lord, we're here this morning to worship and praise your holy name. We give you thanks and give you honor and give you praise on this Sunday morning, my God, for what you have done for us this morning. You woke us up, and here we are in our right mind, able to call and praise and glorify your holy name. And we give you thanks, Lord. If we keep saying, we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, death, being in your house one more time, my God. Feel in your presence, my God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. So now I ask your blessing, my God, on each and every one of us in the sanctuary this morning, my God. A special blessing for the singer, my God, for the musicians, my God, the organist, my God, and the drummer, my God. And bless our pastor, Lord, as he leads your people, my God, keeping God and leading and protecting from all that is seen and unseen, my God. And Lord, bless the preacher of the day. Take a deep and spread a wide, my God, that she be a blessing to your people. It's your holy name that we pray in. It's you, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. The Lord is good. The Lord is kind, and we've come to bless him this morning. The Bible declares from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. Come on, let's clap our hands. Those in the sanctuary. Thank you, Jesus. Simple worship song says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy, 
worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Come on, sing it. Say, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. For he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. For oh, he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Come on, say, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy. He's worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy. He's worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is. Now, right here, everybody, clap. Come on. Come on, you're watching us at home. You want to clap your hands and celebrate Jesus with us this morning. Come on, wherever you are, right here in the sanctuary, wherever you are around the world, come on, let's clap our hands as we give thanks unto the Lord and to call upon his name. For he alone is worthy of all the praise. Oh, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Come on, say, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy. Come on, say, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy. Our God is worthy, for he is good. Yes, 
To know that God is good. Yes, He is good. All of the time, God is good. Yes, He is good. All of the time, say, God is good. Yes, He is good. Everybody say, God is good. Hey, come on, say, God is good. Hey, 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 hey. God is good. He keeps on blessing me. He keeps on making a way. God is good. I'm so glad to know today that God is good. Every time I turn around, I find out God is good. Oh, 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 oh God is good. Oh, 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 God is good. We declare and we decree today that God. To know, so glad to know that God is good. I'm so glad to know, so glad to know. I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. Hey, I'm glad about it. Come on, I'm glad about it. Everybody say, I'm glad about it. Hey, I'm glad about it. I'm so glad, say, I'm glad about it. Hey, I'm glad about it. Oh, oh, oh glad about it. Hey, I'm glad about it. Yes, I am glad about it. Yes, I am. I'm glad about it. Everybody say, I'm glad about it. Hey, I'm glad about it. Yes, I am. I'm glad about it. Yes, I am. I'm glad about it. Hey, he is good. Yes, he is good. Hey, he is good. God, he is good. Oh, he is good. Yes, he is good. Come on, say, he is good. Yes, he is. One more time, he is good. Yes, he is good. Hallelujah. For he is worthy. God is worthy. He, would you lift your hands and tell him he is so good he is well my God he's so well he's so worthy oh well he's so worthy na, 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 na. He, he is, he's so good anybody agree with that this morning yes he God is so good for he is worthy. God is worthy. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Oh, worthy. Oh, oh, for he, he is so good. Oh, yes, he is so good. Even in the midst of a pandemic, he is worthy. He's so worthy. Oh, my worthy. Oh, 
for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, for he is good. Right here. Yes, he is good. Somebody clap your hands and bless the Lord. Come on, somebody give him love. Come on, somebody lift Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes, you're good. Oh, yes, you're good. Oh, yes, you're good. You're so good. You're so good. You're so good. You're so good this morning, Lord. And we praise you. And we praise you for your goodness. We praise you for your goodness, yes, Lord. We praise you, yes, Lord, for your goodness, Jesus. Yes, you've been good. Yes, you've been good to us. We cannot tell it all, but we thank you today, yes, Lord. We thank you today for being so good to us. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. For he is worthy. so worthy oh, for he is good yes he is good somebody clap your hands and give Jesus oh come on don't stop there come on everybody let's worship his name come on let's give him thanks I know most of you are here for a baptism, but we're here to magnify his name. Oh, come on, everybody, let's stand for a moment. God has been good to you. God has been merciful to you. God has been awesome to you, especially in this pandemic. You can open up your mouth and say, Lord, had it not been for your mercy, had it not been for your grace, I don't know where would I have been, but because of his faithfulness great is his mercy great is his love towards him you ought to open up your mouth and says lord i thank you thank you for my covering thank you for the food on my table for the food in my refrigerator for life in this covid pandemic environment y'all just sitting there like huh but when i think about the goodness <laughs> When I think about the goodness of Jesus and all, somebody said all, not just some, but all. Nah, I just, I got to worship. I'm supposed to be on vacation, but I'm here working, blessing the name of the Lord because I love him. Somebody go in that comment section right there and says, I love him. I love him. I love him. He blessed me in my going out. He blessed me in my coming in. The Lord has been good towards you. I just need you to blow up that coming. If you're in the sanctuary, you just don't need to be watching me as if I'm just a monument. You just need to lift up your voices and say, God, I thank you, but I'm not on a breathing ventilator. God, I thank you, but I'm not on a hospital bed. God, I thank you, but you kept me when I was driving to church. God, I thank you. But in my travels, your angels kept me. God, I thank you. But Lord, you kept my mother. God, you kept my father. God, you kept my children. God, you kept my job. God, you kept me employed. God, even though I'm unemployed, you bless me. Lord, I've been young. But now that I'm old, I, 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 elder, elder, el I've never, I've never, I've never, I've never, I've never, where my never people at? I've never, 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 I've never seen the righteous forsaken. My children wouldn't be hungry. Y'all not hearing me. Where my people's out there? Come on, if you're in the sanctuary, exalt his name. 
Magnify his name. I know it's been a while, but some of you, you haven't been to church. But you don't understand. When you give God thanks and say, Lord, thank you. But last night, the ambulance didn't have to come to my house and take me to the hospital and furthermore, I didn't, I, didn't, I wasn't in a morgue this morning. And furthermore, my family didn't have to plan a funeral. But when I woke up this morning, I looked over, I said, God, thank you, thank you. You're not hearing me. I said, thank you. If nothing else, thank you. If nothing else, thank you. You're not hearing me. You're still sitting there like, ooh. But when I love him, I love him. Y'all don't understand. I love him. I wear my people who love God this morning. Open up your mouth and say, God, I love you. I worship you. You're holy. You're the majestic God. You're the God who is Jehovah Jireh. You're God who is my healer. You're God who is my peace. You're God when I go. You're the God who is Jehovah Shama. You're my God who is my Jehovah Nisi. Oh, come on, let's bless his name. Hey, somebody lift up a Shabbat praise. Somebody lift up a Yada praise. Yada simply means we'll do it together. The Shabbat means we are a blessing because he has touched me. I am so, see, you don't understand. You, you don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. Somebody looked at me and says, why do you got to be so animated? But when you work in the field that I work in, I, I was so blessed this weekend. Friday, I decided that we were going to get some boxes of pizza. And um, we were expecting 20 kids. And over 50 kids were in the building. And I'm talking kids who live in this community who are in danger of gun violence, who can be shot at any moment. But then on Saturday morning, we came back, Mother Chisholm, and we did the back to school event. And with Noble, we, we had 300 backpacks about to give out. We ran out of backpacks. You see, y'all y'all just. And then I had some people tell me, why are you doing backpacks? The government is giving people money. But wait until hard times hit you. Wait until you can pay the rent. You will wish that somebody bless you. Oh, y'all not hearing me. So even though I'm blessed, I'm not content because I know God can bless me more. So I keep praising him in spite of what y'all not hearing me. I say I keep praising him. And wait, wait, wait for it. I don't praise him just for me. I praise him for the person who has chemotherapy and can't even open them, their mouth because of the pain. Y'all not hearing me? Y'all think I'm up here for myself? No, no. I'm up here for the unemployed. I'm up here for the person who has dementia. I'm up here for the person who has Alzheimer's. I'm up here for the person who has gout. I'm up here for somebody who just told me they're going through a divorce. I'm up here for somebody who's on a hospital bed and they can't talk for themselves and they just says, so if somebody could just, y'all not hearing me? I'm praying for those people. That's why I show up to church and I hear mother chisels in my head and says I'm just glad to be in the house of the Lord. Y'all not hearing me. I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Ain't nothing beat the house of the Lord. You can stay home as, as I don't care if you want to stay home. That's good. Be happy. But ain't nothing like the house of the Lord. Y'all not hearing me. I say ain't nothing like the house of the Lord. So we welcome everybody. I know they're looking at me like, huh? 
Elder Clay. Put your hands together for Elder Clay Johnson. Oh, no. You got to do better than that. Put your hands together for Elder Clay Johnson. Brother Williams, we welcome you. Omari, you owe me 10 minutes. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. That's my man. Um, and Kim and... Kim is across the world, but she is faithful. Kim, Kim, wherever you're watching from, I think it's Costa Rica. Thank you so much. She knows what I'm talking about. And Jermaine, who is doing an all-country concert. And um, LaQuisha, we miss you. I know you're watching. And she's somewhere across the world, too. So our three singers are away. But we miss you. But Elder Clay Johnson got it on going on today. Amen. So we bless you. Monica, welcome back. Lisa, thank you so much. But, but yesterday, thank you for all the police officers and everyone else in the community who came out. We had so, it was just wonderful. If you missed it, that was our third successful event. And so um, I walked in the building yesterday and some people was like, I don't know what's going on with him. But what y'all didn't know, I was in so much pain yesterday. I woke up and I said, Lord, Everybody's calling me. The police officers were calling me. The, the chiefs were calling me. Are you sure you still want to do this back to school event? I say, I already prayed to God. The rain ain't coming, Mother Chisholm. <laughs> they say, You crazy. I say, The rain ain't coming. I say, I prayed the prayer of Joshua. Y'all don't know what the prayer of Joshua is? When Joshua prayed and said, Lord, let the sun stand still. I said, God, I believe, and that rain never came. Vanessa, when did the rain come? The rain came when I said, what? Event shut down. That's when the rain came. <laughs> God was mighty good towards us. And so we thank you for our third successful event. Last year, this, this summer, we had, there is over a thousand shootings already. A thousand shootings. And just two weeks ago, well, this Sunday makes two weeks. There was a shooting of a 17-year-old boy two blocks up. Last Thursday, there was a shooting of a 16-year-old boy. And so when the police officers tell me about these things, this is why I'm passionate about community service. This is not church. This is, this is not church. This is a meeting. This is a meeting. Church is when we serve community. Church is when we go into the community and show them the love of God in the demonstration of work. And so thank you so much for all those who came out yesterday. I mean, there are some people in here, they just, they've been with me for the third straight event. Brenda and Denise, thank you. God, they don't know. They, they just, they, they did it. Lisa, Vanessa, Karen, you busted yourself. A couple of people from the WMS came out, thank you. But for everybody, Celia was here, whoever else was here, thank you so much. Ronald was just overworking, amen. So thank you so much for all those who came out. You missed the big event. But um, as we now move forward to September and the rest of the year, we pray, we pray that you can come back into the church building. We pray that you can continue to support. This is not free. And so we need your support. And so um, as we move on to September, we want to welcome you. But please, please, please um, do your research concerning the vaccination. Get vaccinated. But go to your doctors and also wear your mask. Amen? Oh, come on. Somebody say amen. Um, we don't need no more than those who have died and gone on. They have already paid the sacrifice. Some families are still mourning. And so we need you to be alive and strong. Somebody say alive and strong. We need you to be alive and strong. Amen. So please, please, as we move towards September, um, all ministers of this church who have not been coming to church, please see your schedules that are sent out to you. Amen. Um, and so please, as of September hits, you'll be responsible for your schedules. Amen. Um, it's time to give in the house of the Lord. If you're watching, we ask you that you share, share the service. If you're in the sanctuary, go on your cell phone. Look at Bethel Tabernacle AME. You'll see me and F First Lady Victoria. We pray for First Lady Victoria. Um, she's still recovering. God bless you, love. Um, she's still recovering from her surgery. Amen. And so we're praying for you. Um, but everyone else, all those out there, all our seniors, we're praying for you. But it's time to give in the house of the Lord. There's a myriad of ways that you can give. 
You can go to www.bethelthabernacleame.org slash donate, and you can see you can give via Cash App, PayPal, uh, Givelify, Tide Leave, Text by Giving, all those ways. If you're in the sanctuary, they're about to pass the basket around, give something. For those who are visiting us for the first time here at Bethel Tabernacle, welcome to Bethel Tabernacle, the place right here in Weeksville and Schenect um, Crown Heights, where we lift up the name of Jesus. Reverend Karen has her family in here. We're about to do a baptism this morning, but um, we're excited, we're excited, we're excited. For those who are going through grief, we're here to support you. You can visit us at www.betheltabernacleame.org. Amen. And so please, please give, please give something this morning. Come on, that's still up. If that's still up, post that up. Again, Monica, post that up, put it up. Let them see it. They got to give. Everybody give something this morning. Come on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on, everybody give something this morning. Give something. Give as the Lord has blessed you. Put that up again, Monica. Let them see. Give something. Give something. Give by cash at PayPal. Give something. As the Lord has blessed you. Amen. 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 It's already September. Amen. The year is moving real fast. Come on. We, let's bless the house of the Lord this morning. You give as God has blessed you. Those online, give something. If you've been watching us, as you see, I've been faithful throughout the entire year of the pandemic up here working. Didn't take a vacation this year, still working. But I know, I know that the reason why I'm doing this is because God has been good to me. If God has been mighty good towards you, would you give something this morning? Everybody's standing, everybody's standing. After I finish this prayer, Elder Clay's gonna come up and bless us again. Everybody's standing. If you don't know what it is, stand. Everybody, if you got, if you walked into this building, you can stand. Everybody's standing. You gotta be obedient. Everybody, let that young lady stand. Not you, mother, not you. Everybody stand. Mother Chisholm is 90, 92, 92, right? 91, and she's standing, amen? Hallelujah. Let's say a prayer. Father, we thank you for your goodness and mercy, how you've blessed us, everyone who has given this morning. Let them see the return of the blessings of the efforts that they have given towards this church and towards the work of the ministry of God. And we all say amen. You may be seated. Come on, let's get into worship before Reverend Dylan comes and give you a word this morning. Come on, Elder Clay. Let's see you again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we pray our hearts for the word of God, we come to give God thanks. One of the things you have to realize and recognize that the statistics say that over 500,000 people have gone into the judgment because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But I'm so grateful to God, I don't know about you, that I'm in the land of the living. Come on, I, I lost some friends. I lost some good people that I know, but I'm grateful that God chose me. That's why every time I give thanks unto the Lord, that's why every time you see me, my hands are lifted and my mouth is open, for the Lord is good. Give thanks. With a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks, for He has given Jesus Christ His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. You got to learn give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks for he has given us Jesus Christ the Son. And now let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am because of what the Lord has done for us, give thanks. Come on, if you know it, sing it with us this morning. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Come on, say, give thanks. 
thanks to the Holy One, to the Holy One. Give thanks, give thanks, for he has given, for he has given. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, his son. I hear you, church. Sing it again. Give thanks, give thanks with a grateful heart, with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One, to the Holy One. Give thanks, for he has given, for he has given. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, his son. And now, how do we say I am strong? Let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done. Because of what the Lord, nobody did it but Jesus. Nobody did it but Jesus. And now, let the weak say, I, I am strong. And let the poor, they can say right now they're so rich because of what the Lord. what the Lord, the Lord, nobody did it but Jesus, nobody did it but Jesus, and, and now let the weak say, we can say we're strong, let the poor say I am rich, I'm so rich just because of what the Lord, nobody did it but Jesus, nobody did it but Jesus. And now let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say they're so rich because of what? Because of what the Lord has done. Oh, we give you thanks. We give you thanks today, Lord. We're so grateful. Yes, Lord. We're so grateful, Lord. Roof over our head, clothes on our back, shoes on our feet. We're so grateful. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done. For us, give thanks, give thanks. Somebody help me say that. Give thanks. That's all you got to sing, two words. Give thanks. Everybody say, give thanks for all of the wonderful things you've done for us, Lord. Give thanks. Should have been on the street homeless, but you've been so good. Give thanks. Could have been hungry last night and all this week, but we give you thanks. I didn't go to bed one day hungry this week. I want to say give thanks. Oh, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Give thanks. Oh. If my grandmama was here, she would sing a song. I'm, I'm a little country boy. I'm a little country boy, so my grandmama would sing on Sunday mornings, well, every morning. She would sing a song that says, Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. They don't sing this no more. Thank you, Lord, for making me Sound. 
salvation so full and so free can i sing it again thank you lord for saving my soul thank you lord for making me whole i want to say thank you lord yes lord for giving to me you gave me the great salvation so full and so you made it so free you gave me the great yes, Lord, salvation so full and so free you gave me the great salvation so full and so tears so sweet to trust let me go in Jesus just to take him out at his word just to rest upon his promise they don't sing this no more mother just to know the same Lord Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I prove, how I proved him over and over again. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, and we say, oh, for grace to trust him more and we say oh for grace to trust him more he keeps wanting me to do it over and over and over again oh all for grace to trust in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to my seat. In the name of Jesus. We have the victory. Oh, oh, oh. in the name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Satan, you have to flee. Oh, tell me who can, I wish I had a witness, standing for us. Yes, Lord, I see you back there. When we call on that. Jesus, yes, Lord, precious, precious Jesus. I want to know where you, if you got it this morning, just wave your hand and say, we have the, the, the victory. Oh, anybody know you got it today? Everybody say, we have the victory. Over depression, over sickness and disease. Somebody said, We have the big toe. You better tell the devil the next time he shows his ugly head, you better tell the devil that I have the big toe. 
real. Yeah. Anybody got the victory? Say yes. Anybody got the victory? Anybody got the victory? Clap your hands and shout hallelujah. If you know you got the victory. Oh, Lord. Say yeah. If you know you got the victory. Say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. You know, this is personal. Maybe you don't have the victory, but I got the victory in Jesus the Christ. Amen, amen, and amen, amen. Glory to God. First, giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, to my pastor, the Reverend Dr. Dave K. Allen. God bless you. To all of the clergy and ministers and friends and family that are here, I greet you with the love, the joy, and the peace of God. The scripture lesson for this morning will be taken from the Gospel of Matthew, the seventh chapter, the 24th through the 27th verse. That's Matthew 7, 24 through 27, and it reads as follows. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built a house on the rock and the rain descended. The floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it did not fall for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain descended. The floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it fell and great was its fall let us pray oh lord our god we come once again giving you honor glory and praise lord we thank you for all that has transpired thus far and lord we're believing you god as the word comes forth that someone will be healed delivered and set free in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that I decrease, God, as you increase the more and the more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I'd like to title this message, Crumbling Rocks and Sinking Sand. Crumbling Rocks and Sinking Sand. When we think about what's going on worldwide, with the pandemic, the gun violence, earthquakes and hurricanes, and the horrific and violent acts going on in Afghanistan, we must pause and look to God. We live in a world that appears to be uncertain as our schools are reopening, parents and caregivers are concerned about the future of their children's education. In addition, some of our young people are returning to living on college campuses and others are being introduced to college life, not knowing whether or not they will be able to complete this school year without having to return home. Facing us are disappointments, financial ruin, negative court decisions, incarcerations, physical and sexual abuse, domestic violence, all causing many lost opportunities. People are hurting. Many are confused, shaken, as if their whole world is crumbling, as if they are slowly sinking. Crumbling rocks and sinking sand. Our text this morning comes at the end of the greatest sermon that Jesus ever preached, and that is the Sermon on the Mount, which begins in Matthew, the fifth chapter, the first verse, and ends with our text. The Sermon on the Mount was a sermon that Jesus gave to his followers and a large group of people on the side of a mountain. Jesus speaks to them about life's issues, 
The most popular section of his sermon is the Beatitudes. They include, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. These declarations encourage us and builds our faith. In his sermon, Jesus speaks about marriage, prayer, loving our enemies, giving to the needy, and the list goes on. Jesus ended his sermon with our text, a parable of two builders, one wise and one foolish. Let's just review our text in, in case you forgot. Matthew 7, 24 states, therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on a rock and the rain descended, the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it did not fall for it was founded on the rock, but everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who builds his house on the sand and the rain descended, the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it fell and great was its fall. This parable is not just simply about a man or a woman building his family's house on strong foundation, but rather a call to build our lives on the solid rock of Jesus the Christ, which is our strong foundation. Life is not easy. Listen to parts of a poem entitled The Road Less Traveled by Kit McCollum as she explains life issues. Life is not an easy road for most. It twists and turns with many forks in the road. Although always and inevitably, we are given a choice. Do we turn right or to the left? Do we take the high road or the low road? Do we take the easy path or the difficult one? Decisions are not easy for those struggling for direction. And sometimes the many choices and signs become overwhelming. In this seventh chapter of Matthew, Jesus lets us know that the storms and the high waters will come in everyone's life. No one is exempt. No matter what degrees you have, no, no matter what position you hold, the storms will come. But the most important thing, it's good to have peace of mind about the security of our physical homes when we're building our homes, making sure everything goes okay. But it's even more important about, to be certain about our spiritual health and the storms which might come against you spiritually. When the waters of life rise, you discover whether your spiritual house is built on sand or the rock of Jesus. One builder was wise, and the other builder was foolish. Which one are you? Put it in the chat. Which one are you? Jesus is making it clear. He is saying that first, we have a choice as to where and how we build our lives. The choice is yours. He is saying that the lazy man would find it easy to pitch his tent on the soft, smooth, inviting sand. It's kind of easy to build there. Secondly, we must examine ourselves and ask the question, what is my foundation like? Is it strong and solid, or is it pliable and easy to uproot? Is my life strong in Jesus, 
or am I weak and foolish? The wise person takes a good look at their foundation. The wise person receives wisdom from the Lord. The word of God says if anyone lacks wisdom to ask, if we would just ask, the Lord for wisdom. Many of us wouldn't be in the mess that we are in. The wise person knows that it will rain. Maybe not tonight, tomorrow, or the next year, but he knows that it will rain one day. I want you to put it in the chat that it's going to rain one day. It's countdown time. One day God will demand an accounting of our lives and our stewardship. Are we good stewards of what God has given us? Oh, I don't think you heard me. Are we good stewards of what God has given? God has given us so much. It's difficult to build on the rocky ledges, but the wise person keeps on building. The wise person keeps on drilling into the rock and building their foundation. If you keep on drilling and building, you will discover that it's worth the time and effort for when the rain comes, your foundation will be solid. There are no openings, no cracks, no breaks. The construction is firm, thick, and solid. According to Jesus' parable, Everyone builds a house in one way or another. Everyone builds a house in one way or another. The house, the house represents our character, our lifestyles, our walk with God, our goals, our dreams, our visions, our behavior as to who we are are in Christ Jesus. We don't have time to be indecisive or deceptive about our life's house. We want people to see Jesus in us. Our house is where God resides. Finally, it's praying time. This is the time to ask God to lead you and to guide you along life's way. There's power in prayer. There is power in prayer. This is the time to allow God to speak to your heart. Jesus says in Matthew 7, 24, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. That person's rock that does not crumble is the one who hears and obeys God's voice. The person that does not, the person that does not have a solid foundation has built on crumbling rocks, which has become sinking sand. Sinking sand stops your progress. Sinking sand muffles God's voice. A foundation of sand is deceptive. It's the devil's trap. It may look good, but sand will cause you to sink. Sand will swallow you up. Sand will weigh you down. Sand will irritate your eyes and block out your vision of God. Sand will cause distorted pictures of the plan of God. Sand is gritty particles of worn, disintegrated rock that will cause your spiritual foundation to crumble. Crumbling rocks and sinking sand. God wants you to build a solid foundation so that you won't fall over, so that you won't crumble and sink when the storms of life begin to rage. For on Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. My hope, your hope, our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. 
I dare not trust. You dare not trust. We dare not trust the sweetest friend, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid, on Christ the solid rock, I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. There may be someone listening who does not know the Lord Jesus the Christ as their rock and their personal savior. I encourage you to accept him today. You may be feeling as if your world is crumbling and that you are sinking. Do you know that in times like these, we need a savior. In times like these, we need an anchor. You know, we have to be very, very sure that our anchor holds and it grips, it grips, it grips, it grips the solid rock of Jesus. This rock is Jesus. He is the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure. On this day, be very sure that your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. If this is you today, I offer you the prayer of salvation. Wherever you are, you may be in your home, on your job, in a car or right here in this building. I want you to repeat after me, whether silently or out loud. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask you to forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. I believe that you died for my sins and was raised from the dead. Come into my life and take control. I don't want to live a life of crumbling rocks and sinking sand. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you for your gift of eternal life and saving me. Amen. If you pray this prayer, you are truly saved and God loves you. If you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ today, or if we can be of any assistance to you, please don't hesitate to send us a message at BethelTab90 at gmail.com. That's BethelTab90 at gmail.com. Amen, amen, glory to God. I am so, so excited that the Lord has touched the hearts of these parents who are now about to come forth to present their son for Christian baptism. I'm going to ask them to come forth at this time. We're going to ask the godparents to come forth. Any, any grandparents would like to come forth?
dearly beloved, for as much as all persons are ears of everlasting life and subjects of saving grace of the Holy Spirit, and that our Lord Jesus Christ said, suffer the little children to come to me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. I beseech you to call upon God the Father through the Lord Jesus Christ, that of his bounteous goodness, he will grant to this child the constant and continual replenishing of his grace, and he will become a good and worthy member of Christ's holy church. Now, this address is to the, to the parents and to the godparents and the grandparents because it is a village, and it takes a village to raise a child, especially in what we're going through these days. For as much as this child is now presented for Christian baptism and is thus consecrated to God and to his church, it is your part and duty to see that he be taught as soon as he shall be able to learn the meaning and the purpose of this holy sacrament, that he shall be trained to give regular and faithful attendance upon the private and public worship of God and the teaching of the Holy Scripture, and that in every way, by precept and example, you will seek to lead him into the love of God Amen. and the service of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you solemnly promise to fulfill these duties so as far as it lies within you? If so, your answer will be, we do. Amen. Hear the words of the gospel as it is written in St. Mark 10, 13 through 16. People were bringing little children to him in order that he might touch them. And the disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly, I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God, as a little child will never enter in. And he took them up in his arms and he laid his hand on them and he blessed them. I want you to name your child. Kalel Dominic Brown. Cal L. Dominic Brown. I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless this child. Save this child. Keep him covered with your blood, Lord. Lord, for you know that in times like this, it's hard, God, raising the children. Do it for them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We present to you Cal L. Dominic Brown. Amen. Cal L. Dominic Brown. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God from whom 
all blessings flow. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you next week. God bless this baby. Put your hands again for this wonderful baby Amen. and the parents and the godparents of this baby. God bless you. We'll see you next time, next week. God bless you.